Thank you for watching a Holy Grail Algo video. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the tick chart and how to set that up on NinjaTrader. Um, it is pretty simple. Essentially where you see where it shows you your time frame that you're trading on right now, it shows a one minute. You can actually select tick. And we have a few custom ones that we like to use uh, based on the Fibonacci sequence. Um, essentially for this ES here, I have the ES1222. Uh, we actually like to trade that on a 377 tick, which is in line with the Fibonacci's. Um, and we have a few others that we like to do as well. And today I'm going to actually show you how to set this up, because by default you're only going to have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 1,000. And I have a lot of custom ones that I've added. Uh, so to start that, basically you're going to go ahead and select the drop down here, where your time frame would be, or your interval. And then from there you're going to go to Configure. And then on the left you see where it says tick. Now I already have a lot of these added in here, um, but some that you might like to add is like the, <clears throat> the 89 tick chart, the 144, the 233, the, thir the 377, and then also the 610, that's one that we like for the uh, NQ. Um, but essentially to add these, you just go down here, once you click on tick, you go to add, and then here where it says value, you set that to the custom value that you want. I already have that value though, so that's a duplicate there. And then you just have to do this for each one that you want to add. And it's pretty simple. Um, the reason that we like to do this is because the market's been pretty volatile lately, and the tick chart actually picks up essentially, essentially the momentum. Um, that way it's a lot less laggy than if you were to use like a, a one minute time frame chart because uh, we do like to wait for the alert to close but if you're waiting on a one minute or even longer time frame the tick chart may have already went because it's got the momentum that it needs to uh, print a new candle and give you an entry into the trade and I will go ahead quickly and just show you a couple of these charts here um, this was towards the end of the day which is why it looks really choppy but if you look earlier in the day on this 377 tick chart, um, you'll see even even after volume's fallen off a little bit um, with this tick chart, you're picking up a lot of trades. Um, not to say that our time charts are not good, but if you have the option to use Ninja and the tick chart, it's definitely something we recommend. I'll just show you here the NQ on the 610. And the tick chart that you're using, the size of it is, is essentially going to be dependent upon whether you're looking for a scalping or a long term, a longer term trade or a swing trade. Um, but a 610 is definitely more for um, intermediate scalping, you know, five points or more. A lot of times it does catch some very big breakouts, which you can use other time frames to confirm um, since this is more of a uh, entry for scalping. Um, but on the 610 you can see that it's uh, very smooth, it gives you multiple entries if you were to have a stop hit. You can look and see that the EMA is basically holding support here, so on the next long that would be good to take. Um, and It came through a little bit on the EMA. Uh, this short may have tripped you up unless you were looking at other time frames or levels, um, like what we have on our trading view charts. We do recommend using both our trading view and our ninja together. Um, so you can see the congruence between the time frames. Uh, but then again, break over the HMA, another long. With the uh, minute uh, time chart, you may have only gotten a few entries on that, and they may have lagged a little bit. Pull that up here. So similar entries, but definitely slightly better on that tick chart when you've got a lot of chop in the market. And we're more than happy to help you uh, set them up or answer any questions in our Zoom. And that is essentially it.